saw the vanilla groves of Papantla of El Tahin. The temple was built by the Toltecs, who subjugated the Mayas, in turn to be conquered by the Aztecs. The civilization which flourished here was a magnificent one. But we can judge the ruins that its magnificence was overshadowed by the terror of strange gods, one of whom gazed down from each of the 360 windows in this temple, a different god for each day in the calendar of this ancient people. And then, for unknown reasons, this temple and those around it were deserted hundreds of years before Cortes invaded Mexico. In fact, so thoroughly were they forgotten that until a few years ago, their existence was known only to those people who lived in their shadows. Use that stuff for picture captions. Magnifico, eh? Where is he? Ah, oh, you see. It is a man who interests you, not the ruinas. <laughs> You'll find him somewhere. Hello. Hello. Oh, just a minute. Aren't you Robert Burton? Yes. Well, I'm Catherine Williams. Glad to know you, Catherine. Excuse me. Hey, Arturo, what's wrong? Didn't you meet the bus? Positiva meant to see. I meet the bus. Only two hours late. Well, where is he? Didn't he come? He is see. No, she comes. Don't you meet her. I tried to tell you, but you seemed in such a hurry. Do you mean Hackett sent you? There's something wrong with me? Oh, a woman. I usually pass for one. Well, I thought you were a tourist. Look, Mr. Burton, you wired Steve Hackett for a photographer. Maybe you never heard of me, but Steve rates me pretty high. That's why he sent me. All right, get in. Let's get back to the village. Send Hackett a wire. Tell him what I think of him. Yeah. Breeze feels good, doesn't it? Uh-huh. The road's bumpy, though, isn't it? Um... Arturo. Si, si, mucho. Arturo, get, uh, uh... Catherine Williams. Get Miss Williams a room. I'm going to telegraph office. Is he always like that? He's merely surprised that you're a woman.
you get your telegram off? Fiesta. Everything's closed. Surveys are from a bar. You look warm. Are you sure this gesture isn't going to drain your well of human kindness? Oh, there was nothing personal in my remarks this afternoon. Where's your camera? In my room, of course. It's not going to do as much good there. This is the start of the fiesta. You should be getting pictures of it. Am I to understand, Mr. Burton, that you're now consenting to let me go to work? Why not? You ought to be able to handle the fiesta with no trouble. Anybody can do that. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Get some good pictures? I think so. And Hackett will think so. Sit down. I'd like to talk to you. Have you got another assignment you think I might be able to handle? No, an explanation. You saw that pyramid today. A relic of an American civilization. Dead. But I've heard rumors that in the jungle south of here, there are descendants of those same pyramid builders living as they did before Columbus. There are always such rumors. This is more than a rumor. I flew over the place. There's something there. So? So I couldn't put the plane down. I'll have to go in by foot. This can be the biggest story in years, and I want it. Well, what's stopping you? Two things. I need a guide, and I need a photographer to bring back the evidence and the film. Obviously, I can't take a woman. Why not? <laughs> well, the idea is absurd. Mr. Burton, I am a photographer. That's my profession. If you have some stuffy idea no, no, about... No, 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 no. That has nothing to do with it. The trip is difficult. It may take weeks. And if I can't find a guide, I'm going in by myself. This is Mexico, not the Amazon basin. There are no vast explored regions. On the contrary, Chiapas and the Guatemala border is completely unexplored. It's full of jaguars, snakes, who knows what. There are areas down there where the people speak only the Maya or the Totonaca language. Does Hackett know about this? No. Oh, like a fool, I wanted to get the story first. I had no idea he was going to send a woman. What about your guide? Well, there's one man who claims to have visited this place. His name is Juan, Juan Cervantes. He operates a vanilla plantation in the jungle and trades with the people in the interior. Had you better see him? I did. No soap. You'll be photographing him tomorrow. I will? Mm-hmm. How come? He's the captain of the Voladores, the human eagles. He'll be flying at the fiesta tomorrow. <laughs> This is a fine time to tell me. I should have taken some shots of him before the fiesta. He won't see you. Friend of yours? It's a custom. For six weeks before the fiesta, the Voladores shun the sight of women, keeping themselves pure. What I love about this place is the high regard everyone has for women. Keeping himself pure. Well, tell me, is it going to corrupt him if I aim a camera at him? All right, let's forget about business and go find a drink. As long as we're here, we might as well have a little fun. Huh? Oh, we might, might we? Well, we don't feel like having fun. And after I photograph your flying eagles tomorrow, I intend to do a little flying myself. Good night. Good night. ¿Dónde es la casa del señor Juan Cervantes? Juan Cervantes, señorita, ahí a la izquierda. Thank you. Buenas noches. Yo soy Catherine Williams of Quest Magazine. Yo deseo hablar con señor Cervantes. No es posible, señorita. Hoy es la noche de la fiesta y el señor Cervantes no puede recibir mujeres. Be 
Miguel, mira a ver qué pasa ahí. Ya le dije que no puede tomar fotografías y que ninguna mujer puede verlo. Váyase, váyase. Ok, ok, váyase. fine. Now look what you've done. So Walter Raleigh never lived here. ¿Qué pasa? Una gringa que quiere verlo. now. Keep your camera on them. I want all the film you can get. That's Juan Cervantes in front. The one who has to stay pure. this in motion. You'll get it in a minute. to the four sides of the geography. Geography? Yes. North, south, east, west. They're not going to jump off, are they? No, they fly off. Watch.
avoiding women now. That's all, let's go. That's not all for me. Now, strange women are. Yesterday, she talked of nothing but you. Today, she thinks of nothing but pictures. She talked about me? See, si. how she used to hear your lectures, read your books. You know, like a woman. Just a minute, Robert. Senorita Williams? Es is well entrar in the quarto de la senorita. Forgive me. I came only to apologize for the behavior of my man last night. Well, you speak very good English. I studied in the University of Mexico City. That's very nice, but uh, still, this is not the customary way to be forgiven. But it's a good way to be rewarded. <laughs> well, then I'm going to reward you. That's your photograph. I saw you taking many pictures today. Those were for my magazine. This one's for you. Gracias. It's pretty good. It could be better. I didn't have my flash equipment. Is there uh, anything I can do for you in return? No, no, just, uh, just go out as calmly as you came in. Wait a minute. Yes? There is something you could do for me. I've heard stories that, that somewhere in the jungle south of here, there are people who still live according to tradition. I want very much to go there. Did Senor Burton put you up to this? He doesn't even know you're here. Then why do you want to go? If the story is true, and I could photograph it... You would be paid more money. <laughs> Partly that, but even more. Fame? That too. And what else? Does there have to be more? Yes. It isn't enough that woman simply wants to compete with man, she... I'm not competing with anyone. I'm a professional photographer. This is a big chance for me. You do good work. Thank you. Would Senor Burton come too? Yes, he's, uh, he's more or less my boss. These people of whom you speak resent strangers. I myself have been only to the borders of the little jungle kingdom. I trade with them for wild vanilla and kapok, but I don't interfere in their lives. We won't interfere either. The journey is difficult, even dangerous. Mr. Burton caught a glimpse of their temple from the air. He'll go anyway, even without a guard. And you go with him? Yes. Certainly, I'd go with him. You make me feel responsible. Then you'll take us. I... I haven't said so. But if you wish to accompany me as far as my plantation, you may. Oh, that's wonderful. And, and don't worry about money or automobiles. The magazine pays for everything. Don't you worry about automobiles. We go by horse. You better let me make the arrangements. Oh, thank you. I'll leave everything up to you. All right. all over for you. I thought you were out taking pictures and got lost. You mean you were worried about me? Well, of course, you're my responsibility until you leave here. Well, then I'm going to be your responsibility for quite a while. What do you mean? You remember that unexplored region you mentioned? Yes. Well, Juan Cervantes is going to guide us there, and uh, 
I'm going. That's the condition. Cervantes, you've talked to him? Certainly. He agreed to guide us all the way? Sure. <laughs> all the way. <laughs> okay. You win. You know, Catherine, I'm sorry. I, I haven't been treating you very nicely. I'm... Look, I'm the photographer, remember? The one you were so disappointed to see. You see? What do I see? How simple it is. You talked about danger. This is a cinch. Because we've got a good guy that hate to cross this wasteland alone. Strange, isn't it? Why would a man who owns a plantation travel all this way to take part in a fiesta? Why do we come all this way to find a lost tribe? Men are restless creatures. So are some women. All women are until they find. Find what? Look, a ruin. It's a pyramid. Just like the one at Tahim. I think it is. No, we couldn't see Tahim from here. Oh, it's a mirage. Look, it's getting dimmer. Gives you the creeps, doesn't it? It is a ghost. A ghost from the past of my country that came out here on the desert to rest. It's just an optical illusion caused by the variations in the refractive index of the atmosphere and the sunlight. I've seen it by moonlight. Maybe we don't have a guide. We have a poet. Sorry about my appetite. I was starved. from the jungles near my home, where the white orchid grows. The story of a woman with golden hair who tempts a man to follow her. Deeper and deeper, she leads him into the jungle, always just beyond his grasp, until finally he is lost, and she destroys him. Her name is Ashtabai. I didn't ask you the wrong question, did I? No, no. I, I, I wanted to, to look at the sky and see how the day would be tomorrow. From the way you spoke, I thought maybe there was a girl. It's none of my business anyway. A girl with golden hair? Only a legend.
Are you sure you don't want to share my tent? No, thanks. I like to sleep under the stars. My pillow. Good night. Good night. Buenas noches. shade for the next 10 kilometers. We'll eat here. Catherine, I think it might be a good idea if you took a few pictures. I'd like to get the whole story. Sure, Bob. Glad to. Iwana, harmless. Good to eat. Oh, I, I lost my appetite. Señor, mire al cielo. Levanten las cosas. Hay que irnos de aquí. Está bien, señor. Anything wrong? Yes. Temporales. Sandstorm. About two kilometers from here is a point of rocks where we can escape the wind. Take the señorita and go on. Well, then we better stick together. Waste no time, señor. All right, let's make a run for it. Muchachos, parece que viene muy fuerte. He said two kilometers. We must have come two miles. Over there, Robert. Don't I see rock? I think you do. Come on.
ready to move on? Mm-hmm. Leave the tent. From now on, we travel light. All right, let's go. Dejen la tienda, muchachos. Sí, señor. Vámonos. Sí, señor. We're being slowed down by the burro. How much of that equipment is necessary? I've got to have the recorder and photographic supplies. Well, we either leave something here or lose everything. Throw away my clothes. After this, they aren't going to fit anyway. Dejen los velices de la señorita. Muy bien, patrón. Looks awfully good. We can all use a good night's rest. Juan! It's you, Lupita. ¿Por qué me hablas en inglés? La costumbre, los gringos. Salúdame así. ¿Estás molesto? Sí. La señorita Williams no tiene ropa. ¿No tiene ropa? ¿No tiene vestidos? Nos dejó en el desierto. ¡Qué curioso! No, tú no comprendes. Es que pesaban demasiado. ¿Le prestarás algo, algo bonito? Sí. No es correcto para ella que ande desnuda. You feel better now, señor Burton? Much. There's nothing like what a bath and a little rest will do for you. Juan, I'm afraid I've been a little off the last few hours. Please don't apologize. Well, I'm just trying to tell you that things will be different when we do go on. I do not think we go on. Well, of course we do, but you promised Miss Williams. There's some misunderstanding. I promised to bring you this far because I was coming here anyway. Well, if it has something to do with me, I... It has nothing to do with you. Oh? I've been away and my plantation needs attention. More like a woman. Yes, it's about 60 degrees warmer in here right now. When we met, you thought I looked too much like a woman. Too much for a jungle expedition, but I'm beginning to change my mind about that. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear it. In fact, I'm starting to change my mind about a lot of things. Juan isn't going to guide us, you know. No, I, I didn't know. Why won't he? Catherine, you lied to me. When did I lie to you? In Papantla. You said Juan was going to guide us all the way, providing you came along. Well, I... He made no such promise. I told him. I know what you told him, that I wanted you along on this expedition. That means you lied to him, too. Did he tell you that? No. Maybe I do want you now. You better say what you're thinking. You've read my books? I've read a lot of books. You've heard my lectures? So? You found out I needed a photographer, so you asked Hackett to send you special requests. Of all the conceit! Conceit nothing, otherwise he'd have sent a man. Oh, let me out of here. Wait a minute. It's too late for me to back out now. I do need a photographer, and you talked yourself into this. Would you go through with it? 
With you. Sure. I've decided you've got the guts. Guts and a camera. That's all you want, isn't it? Is that what you want? Well, had I known you were interested in vanilla culture, I'd have brought you here myself. Vanilla? Yes. The orchids are lovely. A moment ago, you were angry. Angry? Oh, no. No, just frowning from the sun. How I pity the sun to receive your frowns. You say such beautiful things. Only because the inspiration is beautiful. Oh, yes. It's a very pretty dress the girl gave me. I'm talking about... What's in the dress? What does he do? Pollinating. Here, I'll show you. Ben. Damiso. You see... To reproduce itself, cultivated vanilla must be fertilized by hand, like this. How unromantic. And the result is this vanilla bean. Evidently, it works, then. Sigue trabajando. Obviously, you're not greatly interested in the vanilla. Oh, yes, I am. Only, Only what? This morning, Robert told me that you weren't going to take us on into the jungle. That's right. Why not? It's too dangerous. You mean you're afraid? Yes, I'm afraid of you. Oh. Why would I frighten you? See these? You think there is nothing to fear there either, but they grew from blood. Blood? The blood of a Toltec prince and a Maya princess who fell in love when their people were at war. They were killed, and from their mingling blood sprang the first vanilla plant. That's another one of your legends. We're not at war. There's war in your heart. You love Robert Burton. No, not anymore. Oh, maybe I liked him once, before I knew him, when he was just a name. And now? What makes you so interested in knowing my mind? Because it might help me to know my own. Let's get an early start tomorrow. Have a nice walk? Very nice, thank you. The orchids are lovely. Yeah, you're such a pretty one in your hair. Catherine, I'm getting a little tired of apologizing for myself. Maybe I deserve that slap, but I... I meant the kiss sincerely. I promise you, you'll be safe for me on the trip. Naturally, I'll be safe. Juan is going to guide us. He is? What made him change his mind? I did. If your boots don't pinch, it's going to be a long walk from now on. I wonder what's keeping one. Juan, no vayas. Yo prometí llevarlos. Por favor, no. ¿Por qué? 
Maybe you understand good when I speak English. Why would I? Because she speak English. She take you to jungle. You not take her. What? Please, no go. I much fear. Hasta luego. No. When she take you, it is adios. And she's an ashtabai. Tú vendrás, yo bien lo sé. Llegarás a ser mi amor. Y por ti me moriré. Serás mi perdición. Eres tú la orquídea. They're singing that song again. Miguel, Pedro, basta ya. Hey, how about a five-minute break? All right. Descansen un rato, muchachos. Juan, have you actually been to this temple in the jungle? I've been close to it. How do we go from here? We go along this valley. Then we cross a slope of mountains. Half a day's journey. Then we enter into the jungle forest. What do you know about the people? Of their history, very little. Some say they came from an island in the Gulf. Others that they came from the south. What does it matter? Oh, a great deal. Why? Even if you learn the truth, who gains? Knowledge itself is enough reward. Reward? Is the world happier because of the knowledge men like you have gained? It will be. Once we understand the past, we may be able to control the future. I intend to learn what I can from these people. Then why ask me? You're the archaeologist. I only trade with them. Vámonos. Burro, burro. We have to cross this brook. It's not very deep. Miguel, Pedro. Pasen los burros primero. It's harmless. See? <laughs> He's cute.
This is as far as we go without permission. Permission from whom? People you want to see. It can't be too soon for me. The heat getting you? Yes. Desempaquen los burros, muchachos. Aquí vamos a hacer campo. Está bien, patrón. Confound it, can't they be more careful? Perdone, señor. It's broken. Well, they're a little tired. You can't blame them too much. What did you need it for, anyway? I wanted to bring back a recording of the music and language. At least we still have our photographic equipment. Beautiful spot, isn't it? I didn't come here for the scenery. Aren't you being a little hard to get along with? Nope. It's just that you, that he... Oh, forget it. Catherine, come here. You better run along. Nature Boy is calling you. This fruit is cool after a day's march. Try it. What is that stuff? A copa, to signal our presence. Let's see if we have enough copa. Hmm? Yes. Come, I'll show you. By morning, our movements will be under constant observation. This is our last night alone. Merely a vampire bat. Merely. Miguel trae las lámparas para ahuyentar los murciélagos. Está bien, señor. Pedro, recoge los platos. Muy bien, señor. Few lamps will keep the bats off. Have you got something to keep off eagles? I'm turning in. Good night. Good night. And you, señorita. Pretty soon. Too beautiful a night to sleep. Quite right. It is too beautiful a night for sleep. I was feeling restless. I too. Juan, back at the plantation, when I asked you to bring us. Yes. I didn't want you to think that. Just it... what did you want me to think? Only that. Robert and I needed a guide. 
You care nothing for him. You told me. I know. And I came only because you asked me. Please let me explain. Why explain what the night has already told us? And if it's only the night? Then we hope for many of them. What? She's a child. Besides, we're not at the plantation. What's the delay? Let's get started. When we get permission. Good morning. Sleep well? Well, as could be expected. Anything wrong? No. Well, if there is, remember what I said at the plantation still goes. Thanks, Bob. What's that? What I've been waiting for. Our signal. I thought drums were used for a signal only in Africa. When Hernan Cortes sneaked out of Tenochtitlan at night, drums sounded the warning to the tribes. An archaeologist should know that. Thanks for the dissertation. What are they saying? They tell us to come on. The Baitap, the chief, has accepted you as my friends. Get your camera. We shall leave our gear here. No guns. That's one of the conditions. One of whose conditions? Theirs. They don't like guns. They've seen me shoot. Well, in that case, my shooting shouldn't bother them at all. I said no guns. You know, when we started out on this trip, I was perfectly willing to dispense with your services. It seems like a better idea all the time. As you Americans say, I have my own height at stake, so we'll do it my way. What about Catherine's I'll height? take care of her, too. Please, don't argue now. We're practically there. You'll be all right. Please, Ron. Are we taking any food? We'll be fed. My men will stay here and watch the camp. Carry your camera, but Hasta luego, muchachos. Volveremos dentro de dos o tres días. Cuiden el campamento. Está bien, patrón, y buena suerte. White right, Park is good. We can go on. Suppose they didn't like our look. Then the Cape Park would be red with blood. You 
finally hit something. A tapir. Harmless. Why did you bring that gun? To protect us, and I intend to keep it. Fool! They accepted my presence as proof that we respect the laws. So I shot a Tabor. Is that a crime? We're in trouble, thanks to him. He only brought that gun along because of me. You don't need him. You have my protection. Your protection? Is that what you call it? For my woman, yes. You think a couple of kisses make me your woman? But last night... D didn't you mean... I only meant to come on this trip. If you can't understand that, I'm, I'm sorry. And forget last night. to worry. What do we do now? We wait here until they're convinced we come in peace. It's too bad we didn't bring along some of that tape here to eat. I'll see if I can trap a deer for you, so you won't starve. Sorry things are turning out this way, Kathy. about something. I read your books, I heard all your lectures, and I did ask Hackett to send me. I wanted to know you. I wanted to know you for years. Quite a letdown, huh? No, not at all. But when I got here, you acted like I was the last person on earth you wanted to see. I was hurt. I made an awful mess of things. One? No, it's not his fault either. It's all my fault. Don't be so selfish, kid. I ought to take a little credit for messing things up by being so blamed jealous. Jealous? Jealous. Now you know. You want to turn back now? Do you? <laughs> Neither do I. Things will work out all right. a trap over there. With luck, we may have a deer soon. Maybe I can get a picture of it. I called you a fool, Robert. I think it is I who am a fool. Sit down, Juan, will you please? Thank you. 
The son of the chief. Dead. Katijak. I'm a pushkat. What does he mean? He says she did it. Pita Hats Pulanit. Amakuyat, Amakuyat. all about. The dance is a symbol of life and death. This is what I came to see, all the barbaric splendor of an ancient culture. Thank you. 
bringing her a ceremonial gown. A ceremonial gown? Yes, that's right. It ends with a sacrifice. Llévense a la señorita en un burro. ¡Rápido! Oh. ¡Robert! Keep going. What about you? For some, the love of a woman is the end. For others, the beginning. Go after her. They were my friends, and I betrayed them.
afraid. Oh, Bob. Like the orchid blooming now, white of skin, aloof somehow, slender form and fragrant sweet. Are you my dearest one? I know it must be if I gain 